In this video, we'll explore the best squad mates to bring along for each mission in Mass Effect 3. For the purposes of this video, I'm approaching the best squad mates in terms of role playing and unique dialogue, not combat abilities. Careful! There goes the next Shadow Broker. Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. Not funny. I'll be covering the main story and a few notable side quests. There are timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a particular part. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. Before we begin, I have a bunch of different Mass Effect trilogy guides and lore videos on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Spoiler warning. I've done my best to keep this video spoiler free, but there are some places where mentioning relevant details from a mission helps make the case for my squadmate recommendations. I'll also be including gameplay footage which may inadvertently spoil certain quest events. If you're new to Mass Effect 3 and want to avoid any mission details or characters you may encounter before you've seen them firsthand, then it may be best to save this video for later. I'll put a list of all my squadmate recommendations in the pinned comment as well, though you won't really know why I've recommended a particular character unless you watch the video. The first few missions of the game, Earth, Mars, and Palavin don't give us the opportunity to choose our squadmates. So let's start with a main mission that does, Priority Sir Kesh. For this mission, I recommend bringing Liara and Garrus as your squadmates, especially if Rex is still alive. The banter between these three is great, and there is more unique dialogue if you completed Lair of the Shadow Broker in Mass Effect 2. Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the broker was very busy. Also, assuming Kirahi is still alive, he will recognize and greet both Liara and Garrus, having met them on Vermeer. You can't go wrong with Liara and Garrus. Before the next main quest, Rex will ask you to locate some Krogan scouts that went missing in the Attican Traverse. I recommend bringing Garrus for this mission, mainly for this interaction with Grunt. Sounds like fun. Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> Another major side quest during this section of the game is the rescue at Griscom Academy. I like to bring Liara or Edie for this mission because of their banter with Jack. It's only a handful of lines though, so feel free to bring your faves. For priority to Chunka, you'll be landing on the Krogan homeworld to reach the Shroud facility. I recommend bringing Javik for this mission because you'll be contending with the Reaper, which always makes him happy. Garrus and Liara both have some good dialogue throughout the mission as well, especially while exploring the ancient Krogan ruins. Did I hear that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws? When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. After the situation on Tachanka has been resolved, the next main mission brings us back to the Citadel. As usual, Garrus is a good squad mate to bring. I haven't encountered a ton of earth-shattering dialogue during this mission itself, except in the aftermath if things go really sideways. So feel free to bring your faves along for this quest as well. Next up we have the Geth Dreadnought. Tally is a mandatory squadmate if she's still alive, and there are a number of great options for your second companion. Edie will have some unique dialogue with Legion during this mission, which is worth exploring at least once. If you're in a romance with Tally, I also recommend bringing James along for this mission. I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. It's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Hmm. Okay, what am I missing? Shepard and Tally became physically intimate during their fight against the Collectors. Too much information. Thank you, Edie. James will also give a nickname to Tally during the mission, and her reaction is priceless. Nice to meet you, Sparks. Sparks? Yeah, you've got lights and you're... Uh... And you're kind of small and jumpy. It just came out. If you say so. And of course, it should go without saying that Garrus is also a good choice. Are you sensing a trend here? You'll need to complete at least one of the Geth Quarian side quests to unlock the next main quest on Rannoch. For the mission to rescue Admiral Chorus, I recommend bringing James and Tally, mainly so you can assign James to repair an AA gun while the tech genius Tally stands watch silently. Mm -hmm. 
The Geth Fighter Squadron's mission is mostly a one-on-one -on -one between Shepard and Legion, so your squad mates are basically irrelevant for that one. Bring whoever you want. For the main quest on Rannoch, Tally is again a mandatory squad mate. For the second companion, I like to bring Javik because of the Reaper element, but this mission is really Tally's show, and there isn't a ton of dialogue from your second squad mate. Around this point in the game, you'll receive a mission to rescue some ex-Cerberus scientist, which sees you linking up with Jacob. I recommend bringing any of your Mass Effect 2 characters, Edie, Garrus, or Tally. I particularly like Edie's lines at the beginning of the mission. Jacob did not recognize me. This may be an opportunity to surprise him. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. Another major side mission involves investigating an Asari monastery that went radio silent. I recommend bringing Liara for her unique dialogue on the Ardok Yakshi. Speaking of Asari, the next main quest takes us to Thessia. Liara is a mandatory squad mate for this one, and I highly recommend bringing Javik as your second. He has a ton of unique dialogue. I have a full video covering Javik's unique conversations on Thessia if you'd like to explore it all. Next up is Sanctuary, a refuge for, uh, refugees? On the Colony of Horizon. I recommend bringing Tally for this mission, mostly because it provides better context for her reaction back on the Normandy after the mission is over. Shepard! Want a drink? I was surprised to discover that neither Ashley nor Caden have any unique dialogue during this mission, which is a little disappointing given their fight with Shepard on Horizon in Mass Effect 2. Side note, one interesting detail during this mission is that Shepard's line at the end of the quest is very similar in both Mass Effect 2 and 3, providing a subtle callback. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Cortez, we need Henry to pick Wilson. up at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Okay, we're in the home stretch. The next mission is Chrono Station. Edie is a mandatory squadmate for this quest. For your second companion, I recommend bringing your romance partner if they are a crewmate in Mass Effect 3. Shepard will learn some details about himself during the mission, and it's nice to have the person who is closest with the commander along for the ride. Barring that, Liara is a great choice as well since she has some unique dialogue expressing her regrets for not helping Shepard with the collectors in Mass Effect 2. For the final mission of the game, Priority Earth, I recommend bringing your favorite squad mates, whoever they may be. You'll have the opportunity to speak with all of your squad mates, past and present, during the mission and say your goodbyes. These conversations are generally better than any banter that happens during the mission itself, so don't worry too much about missing unique interactions based on your squad choices. There are two points during the mission where you'll select your team, once at the beginning, and again around the halfway point. So you can use up to four squad mates throughout the mission if you so choose. In my latest playthrough, I brought Javik and Garrus for the first half, and Garrus and Tally for the second. And that's pretty much it. There are still some squad mate combinations I haven't used in some of these quests, so if you have any favorites, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.